Hi, I'm Helen from Halton Food. Today we're going to be planting our leafy greens. So kale, spinach, and lettuce. We're going to start with spinach. Spinach is a cool weather crop, so you really do need to start this in April, beginning of May. As soon as the weather warms up, it starts to bolt, and that means it starts to flower, and then the leaves become bitter. So you need to plant this nice and early in the spring, as soon as the soil can be worked. Lettuce can be planted at any time uh, throughout the spring and the summer. It really is, you want to start this in the spring, but you can still plant throughout the summer. Again, you want to make sure, like spinach, that it doesn't flower because again, the leaves will go bitter. But uh, as long as the weather conditions are favorable, you can plant this throughout. For lettuce, you want to probably plant your leaf lettuce more than your iceberg or romaine. And that's simply because leaf lettuce is a lot easier to maintain and to harvest and to plant. The longer you have to have a vegetable in the garden, if you're doing organic gardening, that's when it's going to be susceptible to bugs and then it's not going to be as edible for you as a consumer. Kale is like lettuce. You can plant it in the spring, summer, and again in the fall if you want another crop before the winter hits. With kale, you can harvest when it's uh, little tiny leaves and use it in salads, or you can wait until the first frost and the leaves will come a little bit sweeter and you can use it in soups and stews. It'll become a really thick texture, so it's something that you probably want to cook to break, to break it down a little bit. It would be way too tough to eat as a salad at that point. Lettuce seeds are very tiny, so you want to plant these quite shallow. This again, it's about half a centimeter. And so, like the other things I've been planting in this square foot garden, I can do three rows where I just take a pinch of the lettuce seeds and I sprinkle it down. Get a little bit more there. And I'm barely covering the seed. And again, just like in my video for carrots, you want to keep the seedlings as moist as possible until they start to germinate. So you're just barely covering the seeds with soil, tapping down. And again, remember to label. And the same with kale. These look like little tiny balls and so you just want to take a pinch and sprinkle it down. Your three rows. I do tend to do kale slightly deeper but we're talking about three quarters of a centimeter so really not that far different than the lettuce. I'm just tapping down Spinach seeds, as you can see, are a little bit bigger than lettuce seeds and kale seeds, so they can be planted about two centimeters deep. For these, you can just take a pinch and sprinkle down the row like we did with kale and spinach, but since they are a little bit bigger, you can afford to space these out. Depends how much patience you have. I think I'm still gonna pinch them and take a pinch and, and sprinkle down like a, like you would for salt in a meal. There we go. And again, I'm just going to cover up, pat down the soil. Label and water.